Bhutan fully vaccinates 90% of eligible adults within a week. Here's a summary of the article. The tiny country, wedged between India and China and home to nearly 800,000 people, began giving out second doses on July 20 in a mass drive that has been hailed by UNICEF as arguably the fastest vaccination campaign to be executed during a pandemic. Many Western countries with far more resources are yet to vaccinate such a high rate of eligible adults. Health experts say Bhutan's small population helped, but the country also benefited from strong and effective messaging from top officials and an established cold chain storage system. More than 3,000 health workers participated and 1,200 vaccination centers across the country helped ensure that shots reached every eligible adult. Another crucial ingredient in the vaccine drive is the country's extensive network of citizen volunteers called BASUAPS, said Will Parks, the UNICEF representative for Bhutan. Citizens volunteered over the last year and a half to raise awareness, dispel misinformation, help conduct mass screening and testing and even carry vaccines across the country's difficult terrain, he said. Bhutan's success is an anomaly in South Asia where countries such as India and Bangladesh are struggling to ramp up their vaccination rates. This post received a score of 7,600, with an up-vote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. From the photo in the article, it looks like a monk also blessed the vaccines, so they got a plus 15% effectiveness bonus. I'll be following to see if they have fewer breakthrough cases. Considering their flag has a fucking thunder of Dragoneer on it, I'm surprised they even needed the vaccine. Willolo, it's the Red Dragon of Wales. Despite the small population this must be a real task because the place is so mountainous. Being remote in Bhutan is seriously remote. That last 10% will take 38 years. One monk in a cave at 4 kilometers up. Shiver. I mean if you're a monk in a cave at 4 kilometers up I don't really think COVID would be a problem for you. Solo practice in caves is a tradition in Tibetan Buddhism. Pretty crazy. I'm really impressed with this from Bhutan. Coordinated mass vaccine distribution over a short period of time is a highly effective zero COVID strategy, especially when combined with biannual boosters, lockdowns, contact tracing, social distancing, and border closures. It's zero COVID or bust, as we cannot risk any new mutations that can make this even worse. We need to act now. What a mature, well-reasoned, and responsible call to action, you must be new around here. Bhutan is also the only carbon-negative country, which means they absorb more CO2 than they produce. They have no industrial production of any kind. It's like how Costa Rica brags about their low energy usage. When 100% of the products you use are imported, that's really easy. Importers essentially pay exporters to pollute their own countries. Also an extremely heavy reliance on cheap, imported labor, mostly from India. We, Bulgaria, just gave them some 100,000 plus vaccines last week that were reportedly about to be thrown away. Now they're at 90% vaccination rate while we're still sub 20% versus an EU average of over 70% with at least one dose. It is so depressing, but at least I'm happy these vaccines were put to good use. Stares glaringly in Australian. Fun fact number one. Bhutan was given vaccines back in January, but based on the advice of Buddhist monks, they waited two months as the stars were considered more auspicious. Fun fact number two. The monks also stated that the first dose be both administered, and given to, a woman born in the year of the monkey. I am genuinely not making this up. Source. The Economist. They get to use their passports then. Their regular passport is now a COVID vaccine passport. Convenient. Their population is also 760k but still a good achievement. 760k after, a good old ethnic cleansing. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.